What's up guys, this is Tidarium, and I'm back with another CV64 tutorial for the double vampire fight at the end of the villa. Let's jump down here and start the fight. Let me show what the first part of the fight looks like and then I'll explain what's going on. So we're running outside of his aggro range and tossing a bunch of holy water and finishing the fight with a quick orb. Really simple, not too much going on here. Let's go back to the start of the fight. So you're going to skip this cutscene start charging an orb and then running directly left towards the base of the stairs and then you're going to release the orb and hold R. So something like that. You don't have to be up on the stairs here, you can kind of chill just at the bottom. He's not going to aggro until you walk up to this black texture here. So you're totally safe right here. And then to damage him you want to jump and uh, toss holy water at the peak of your jump and you just have to press jump and holy water almost at the same time. If you press holy water too soon, you're just gonna toss it right in front of you. So this might take a little bit of practice to get the timing down. And for the last bit of damage, you can just send out a quick orb. Very simple. So for the second part of the fight against the bat lady, the vampire maiden, this is a lot trickier. will probably take some practice to get used to. So let me show what this fight looks like and then I'll explain what's going on. We're going to manipulate her longest attack and then kill her mostly with holy water and then do a charged orb melee smack right at the end there. So in order to get this fight to be a one cycle fight you have to kill her while she's in an animation. If she is at less than half health and she's out of an attack animation then she's going to start phase two where she transforms into mist and spawns bats. It takes a long time, so ideally we don't want to do that. So to manipulate that first crawling animation, what I'm going to do is hold R right when the fight starts, toss holy water, and then do a standing jump right over her. That looks like this. So now she's crawling around, and during that animation I'm going to be tossing holy water left, up, and right. And as soon as I toss that last one to the right, I'm getting ready with a, a charged orb, and uh, if I have to, I'll smack her just to finish the fight. So that looks like this. So it's always a good backup to have this orb ready after the third holy water just to finish the fight here. And then as soon as the fight's done, you want to come over to the coffin, start the cutscene. It doesn't start until you're really close. Like, take a look. You have to be pretty close to this coffin in order for it to start. So I've seen some people finish the fight and then wait at the stairs for the cutscene to start, but it's not going to. Uh, this is also one of the only cutscenes in the game that you can't skip for whatever reason. Just something odd. So then you're going to jump on in there and start the waterway. So that's going to do it for the double vampire boss fight tutorial. Hopefully that helped you out. You can hit me up on Twitch or Discord if you've got any other questions regarding this fight. And I'll see if I can help you out. So thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon for another tutorial.